that now. I built 40, 50 schools with the grace and mercy of the Lord, with all the brothers and sisters' help and all the strength. Now you understand why them tithes had to come in, why we had to pay them rent, why we had to maintain them schools and keep building more and more. Now you see they're becoming the epicenter of black America because now they're going to be needed for all manner of functions. You can't go to your own thing. The church is closed, okay? Go up there and see if you can get a bottle of water. Ha, ha, ha. You will not. It's closed, okay? So now you understand what it was that the Lord was doing. Now you understand why I was coming down so hard saying, man, everybody get to work. Everybody hit these cabs. Handle your business in your city. You've done it, and look what's happened. So again, sisters want to come down and volunteer. Brothers too, you understand, especially if you have some professionalism or some skills in, uh, uh, in uh, you know, education of some sort. Talk to your camp leader. Camp leaders get in touch with the generals. We'll lay it out. It's got to be volunteer, of course. Go ahead and volunteer and do that. And let me say something else, man. On top of this, man. Our brothers and sisters of North American Indians, they survived the smallpox that was put upon them by the heathen that tried to wipe them out. Our brothers and sisters down in Guatemala, they survived the herpes virus. All right, Shalom. This is Ahara One by Allah. The lions then camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, La Yahawah, Bahashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Harakakodash, Ma'ma. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Agwatim, the children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, man. Um, you know, as, <clears throat> as the talk of, that's the talk of the day. Um, ISUPK trying to run up on um, the brothers, those humble brothers out there in. Um, uh, Pittsburgh from GMS. Now, as you see in the video that I had in the in the in the beginning, you had their leader of the ISUPK, which is uh, Johanna. Now you got videos of this guy in the past selling books, you know, rayon shirts on and shit. Uh, you know, um, selling books with the RFID chip in it. Talking about the RFID chip was the mark of the beast. Now he he goes against it. Said the says the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip, so he's not warning the people. Um, now you see their camp. They give more praise to him, praising man instead of giving praise to Yahweh Shai, to the son of Yahweh. You know they give more praise to to Yahana, which I don't even think his name is is Hebrew. I think it's like a damn Arabic name. I think it's Arabic or some shit. But as you see, man, you know, you always got them those those people that stick out like a sore thumb. And this this is one of those guys, man. And and those that have eyes to see it are gonna see it, and those that have ears to hear the truth are gonna hear the truth. This guy is a damn um a, a demon, man. All right, teaching in the red shirt, got his damn um cowboy hat on. And shades and shit. There ain't no scriptures in there say teach with shades on, man. Them cats been wearing shades since they started the UPK. The IS UPK. You know, they in they in the building in uh in the house or whatever they call that shit, a school with dark shades on, man. Everybody know you can't trust people like that, man. It, it just it's right there. And you know, and the whole demeanor, man. And um the way they ran up on them brothers out there. I'm gonna do a lesson on that too, but the first thing you go for is the head. And that's what I look to, I looked at first, is this guy here, uh, the devil, Johanna. Uh, um, Cause come to find out, he's the one that gave the order to send, um, to send those, those, what do you, what do you call man? <clears throat> they call them flying monkeys, like the brother in Hawaii called them, flying monkeys, like off the whiz. <laughs> That's what they look like, man. They ran up on them brothers out there in Pittsburgh. And come to find out, Johanna sent them out there in Pittsburgh. Causing confusion, man. Causing, um, you know, could have caused a fight or anything to break out. And he caused a confusion in Israel. All right? So now I'm going to get this real quick because I'm on the road. This is just a quick one. Uh, <clears throat> this is Matthew 15 and 13. Because in that video I just played in the beginning, he was calling all the women that have children to come and join their camp in the midst of 
this crisis or this pandemic that's going on. He was saying the church is going to be closed. You can come to him. You go to his camps and volunteer. So he basically ain't even get him no money in that. But he was like, yeah, man, that's why now y'all see why we was taking in all those tithes and all this money. Everything is about money. If you see at the bottom of the description, they got more merchandise. They selling their merchandise. They got merch. If you, if you got high ranking in their camp, you get to sell merch. You and your family and shit like that. They're making merchandise of the people. They're making merchandise of the Lord's word, man. It's not right, man. You know? So, hey, those that have eyes to see are going to see. Those that have ears to hear, they're going to hear. And the Lord is making his separation. Because um, those cats at UPK and Cesaria have been getting too, got, too much goddamn praise, man, from people, man. And they fucking wicked. They off. Their doctrine is off. Everything they're teaching, besides being Israelites, they have strayed away from the path, man. They're teaching. they going out there teaching, putting on, um, they only put on garments no more. They put on leather cowboy outfits with leather um, uh, fringes. And they just out there yelling, man. And, and if you sit out there long enough, they're not going into doctrine. All right? So this is Matthew's 15 and 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up, man. And that's what's happening. They're being rooted up from the root. All right? And the Lord is going to leave them there as a stumbling block. They're, that, they're part of that wide gate. You know, narrow is the way. And you got some You got some amongst all the damn cans. Even GMS, you got some uh, cats that's just like UPK. They like to attack brothers and shit like that, man. But those cats in Pittsburgh, you can tell they're sincere. You know, and the uh, apostles, they sincere. All right? But um, this guy here, man, Yohanna, he, he causing confusion in the midst of Israel sending, by sending his goons out to, to try to start a fight with those brothers, basically, man. All right? And then, that's why Apostle Tahar always says it. Uh, the house of Saul against the house of David. All right? Now it's being shown... Who that house of Saul is, man. And you have IUIC lingering out there too. But hey, um, this is Matthew 15 to 14. It says, um, Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch, man. And that's what they're doing. All right, it's their leader, <clears throat> their blind leader with them dark ass glasses on. <clears throat> them damn uh, Newport shades, you know, Newport News shades. All right, this is uh, Second Timothy, uh, three and one. It says, "This also know, oh, this know also, that in the last days, uh, perilous times shall come." Right, we're in those perilous times. And in these and in these times it's being revealed who's the true men of the Lord and who are not. <clears throat> All right, according to doctrine and according to the work and the faith, who you have faith in. <clears throat> so it says verse two, for men, men shall be lovers of them of their own selves. And if you watch the video with Yohanna or ISUPK, all they say, We got the UPK. We got the you know, come down to the UPK, come down to Yohanna. Well, if you don't if you don't sit at the uh all right, they say, if you don't come to Johannes Passover, you're not in the truth. <laughs> Johannes Passover. It's madness, man. Saying he's the top man on the earth and all this madness, man. Tell you how shy I get here. I'm going to do a lesson on that video later, man, for anybody that watches our videos, man. It's crazy. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Right? They don't love you. How about you? How shy? They're not doing things in decent, uh, decently and in order. And to and to praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, they're not keeping their foot in the house of the Lord. Instead, they decided to what? Build on another person's foundation. Those brothers from GMS, <clears throat> uh, which are my apostles as well, I'm talking about the apostles of GMS, <clears throat> those younger brothers out there in Pittsburgh, they, um, you know, they teach out that they've been teaching out there on that corner for a long time. And for them to show up out there, is, is you know, 
it's, that's just starting trouble, man. Cause of confusion and uh, malice. All right. Teaching of envy and malice and strife. And the scriptures say you're not supposed to do that. So this is um. Second Timothy, Second Timothy three, and two. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, all right. So they covetous, man. Try to take the corner. I'm gonna take the corner. All right, that's dumb. That's the ISUPK. Uh, boasters, all right. They boasting. That's they some, they, that's all they were doing is boasting. If you listen in the background of that that video of them in Pittsburgh, uh, I, those cats with that guy that was teaching, he seemed like a novice, man. He seemed carnal, like they sent the carnal nigga out there just do some carnal shit. Just argue and then you try to say something, you probably try to fight him or something. You know what I mean? But they won't do that with Esau. See that? That's why our people are a cancer to themselves, man. And they be they are becoming the same cancer that they claim to be fighting against. Niggas. That nigga shit. Uh, uh, uh bearing false witness, calling the brothers rapists and all this bullshit. You know? And it says, uh covetous, boasters. All right, boasters, man. Proud, blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. All right. Unthankful and unholy, man. And who is their parents? Yohanna used to, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the pastor Har was over Yohanna. All right. And even, um, you know, he, uh, pastor Har had a higher uh, ranking in their old school at One West. So they're disobedient to parents and they're changing the doctrines. They they're going to they disobedient to parents like who? Like John the Baptist, Elijah, disrespecting Elijah, coming out with these damn blasphemies, saying Elijah the Baptist, a uh, 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 John the Baptist uh was 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 wicked. That's what ISUPK is saying. Where is it coming from? Their leader. Yohanna. <clears throat> All right. All right, so it says uh, an unholy man, and they they're not keeping the Passover holy. They do everything what trimming their ways to seek love from who? These Egyptologists inviting all these crazy people like G man to their Passovers and shit like that, man. Killing lambs on on in, out out in the open and shit on YouTube. <clears throat> you know, going to gun ranges and shit on YouTube. These dudes carnal as hell, man. It's some carnal people, man. All right. They're corrupting the doctrine, corrupting the work. And so it's unholy what they're doing. All right. So it says what? Verse three, without natural affection. They don't have natural affection towards their true brothers that's, that's the, that are doing the work of Yahweh Bashi Shai. Instead, they got more love for the world, which would be these pe our, our people, our nation that are in the world. And they got love for them more. They invite them to the Passover when they're unclean, according to the Passover. All right. So they they uh, they invite invite like uh, um, polite. If polite wanted to go to Johanna's Passover, they probably let him come show up there. All right. So um, so that's unholy, and it's unholy because they giving praise to Johanna more than they give praise to Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh. It says without natural effect, natural affection, truce breakers. All right. So. Uh, truce breakers, man. It's basically breaking peace between brotherhood, man. You know, you might have, um, you may have, uh, the apostles or, uh, um, uh, Akim going at, going at ISUPK about doctrine and shit like that, but they ain't gonna run up on their corner and start no shit. And trust, you know what I mean? Like, this is our corner! And use their 501c3 charter pulling out the damn megaphone. You know, that's not power, man. That's a cancer. That's a cancerous vibe to, to, to just use what you can to get over on your brother, your, your people. They ain't gonna do that to Esau, though. You know? And threaten them and shit like that. Calling them a bitch. And as soon as, as, soon as the police get in front of their face, they, just, they stick straight to scripture. Verse three, it says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, right? Falsely accusing the apostles, the, the brothers of uh, 
of rape when they clearly it's kind of nonsense. That's how you know it's, it's, it's wicked what they're doing because they want to drain you by getting you to make an argument about something that's very um, vain, man. It's vain. And it's not important because you got to say that somebody's raping somebody that you got to prove it. Even on the streets, you got to prove it. You can't just say that. You, you know what I mean? But you can. But that makes you look like a liar if you're wrong, because you can say somebody is a rapist all you want. But there's no women out there saying the brothers raped them. Those brothers. Are, what? You get what I'm saying, man? The brothers telling you clearly that we're not fucking rapists. We don't believe in that shit. But yeah, yes, you do. Yeah, that's corny, man. Those type of people, they need to be destroyed, man. You know, that's just it, man. That's just it. The Lord going to destroy those type of people that lie on you and, and falsely accuse you like that. It, it's saying clearly that in the, in the scriptures, there's laws when, when um, you know, when we're in power or in the past when we were in power uh, in place, we had laws in place in case these things happened. Somebody, if a man took a woman, he had to pay that, that woman's uh, father certain amounts of shekels of silver. It's just that simple, man. If she had a husband, that man would be put to death for taking that woman if she cried out. If she didn't cry out, she would be put to death. You know, or and him. It's just that simple. Adultery. All right. So to say all this, man, it's like this. It, it, it's just it's just nonsense for them to keep uh, running up and telling, "Hey, you rapists, you teaching you can rape," and they're saying they're not teaching you can rape. It's just, ah. anyway, and people feeding into it and enjoying it. Whew. So if this vexes you, imagine how much it is vexing Yahweh Shai to see that, man. All right, these false accusers. The Lord hates that, man. All right, incontinent, fierce. All right, fierce, man, being fierce towards their brothers. Despisers of those that are good, man. They despise. They brought those, those UPK cast. They brought this out, saying that uh, <clears throat> the brothers in uh, in the truth in GMS and the um, <clears throat> oh, saying that those brothers over there in Pittsburgh um, despise ISUPK by not joining them. No. Your ISUBK is showing there that they despise uh, 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 the brothers out there in Pittsburgh by pulling up on their corner, like showing up on their corner like that in that fierce, incontinent, falsely accusing, truth breaking, non affectionate, disobedient, unholy, unthankful, blasphemous, proud, boastful, covetous, damn attitude that they were in. And that spirit, that, that's the spirit they showed up in, man. All the spirit of their damn leader, the Kool-Aid man right here with all the red and the damn cowboy hat on. Yohanna. It says traitors, heady. They traitors, man. They traitors. They sold out for filthy lucre for that money and took the purse. They're getting money, man. You're supposed to have a separate job and then you teach. You may have alms. People give you alms. But you ain't supposed to make that just damn career getting money off the word. Now, it's supposed to be a balance, man. You know, me personally, I don't like taking shit from anybody. You know, if you give it, hey, you know, you kind of got to force it in my damn pocket. All right? The Lord will take care of you. Uh, if you work, you work hard, you eat. Traitors, heady, high-minded. So they're high-minded. They're proud. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. Having a form of godliness. See, you see them up there with the, um, uh, with the, with the, Damn, I don't see them with shit. That's godly. Because they, they, all they have is the Bible. That's it. They got shades on. A lot of them be having their head covered. Um, they got all leather on and, tent and, and black boots. Uh, you know, rhinestones and shit like that. Looking like cowboys, right? Rhinestone cowboy. That's 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 Johanna. You know, that's the rhinestone cowboy. All right? So they like... So what it says, uh, have a, they have a form of godliness, man, but they created their own form of it. It says, but, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All right, so they're denying the power of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's our power. That's our strength. The truth of the matter is our strength. It says, what for? For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead away silly women.
laden with sins. These silly women laden with sins. Come on down to the UPK. We'll take care of you. We real men over here. That's right. That's dumb. That's that's laden, uh, uh, leading captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust. That's all it's about, man, lusting. All right, catering to these women, man. The women, if they're going to learn anything, let them learn from their husbands at home. If they don't have husbands, they can still learn through the YouTube. If they want to volunteer, that's different. But he getting money off them people, man. Taking tie, all that tithes and, you know, they, he coming out to get their money. You know, the judge, the Lord, the Lord judges the heart. A uh, man judges the outward appearance. So what? They got beards. They try to get all fucking fat and shit and bloated. That's right. <laughs> no, man. What about James the Lesser? You know, what about uh, John the Baptist? All right. He showed up in camel's hair. So what? Uh, we come out in garments that we made ourselves or whatever, man. These guys got um, like ISUPK, IUIC. They all about money. And merchandise. Money, holes, and clothes. That's all a nigga knows, right? For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust, lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So they're ever learning, man. All the way to the end. They're ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Why? Because they're not ready to put off that old man. So what? They, they say they're keeping the laws, but they're teaching the false doctrine. All right? So they don't have sound mind, sound doctrine. All right? And they're probably not keeping the laws perfectly. If we, if we go through their stuff, through their uh, their videos and see what they're talking about. They're holding the Passover on Saturdays. But scriptures say, judge not a man in a Sabbath. That's true, but when you teach it, you're supposed to teach it correctly, that the Sabbath goes according to the new moon. You're teaching false doctrine, not leading the people correctly. You're leading them uh, carnally instead of spiritually. Now, you keep talking about the Passover. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai's Passover, John 2 and 13. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Yahweh Shai was up, went up to Yerushalayim and found, that's our, that's our leader, Yahweh Shai, all right? Um, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, right? If he just showed up, the day, when he show up, he's going to see Johanna and them doing all this, making merchandise, selling all this crazy shit that, that, that comes from the Lord, man. You're taking his setup. Why don't you come up with your own shit? These dudes ain't got no talent. You know, you got to use the Lord's setup to try to make money. This is his, this is his mind, his create, his creativity. You know, anything you come up with is going to be his anyway. But I'm saying, we just got to come up with your own music, your own business, you know, and they won't. They, these cats will be poor. But instead, they got into this truth and they made filthy lucre of it, man. It's right there in front of everybody's goddamn face. And found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers money and overthrew the tables. He don't care about your damn money, man. And said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. He said, what? And his disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of thine house have eaten, thee, eaten me up, man. So the Lord still has that zeal. All right? It's eating him up, man, seeing y'all making merchandise of his people, you know, let, you know, with his work. This is 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false prophets among you. Who privily shall bring in damnable heresies? See, they bring in, they bring them up out of nowhere. John the Baptist is wicked. Like what the f what? You can do it in the butt with your woman. That's Johanna. This guy here, Kool Aid Man. Yep. 
the rhinestone cowboy doing it in the butt. Ain't nobody want to talk about that, though. They don't want to talk about that. But they want to try to claim you a rapist and all this madness, man. All right. Um, it says they bring in what? Damnable heresies, man. False doctrine. That's what that's what UPK does. And bring up, bring upon themselves swift destruction. So the Lord is going to bring swift destruction upon them. But they, they have to come up with those damnable heresies first. And they've done that. All right. So their time is running out. Yahweh is about to show up and remove those stumbling blocks with that destruction. And many shall follow, well, actually with the chip, probably, because once that chip shows up, a lot of these camps, because the, from the apostles on down, Pastor Har on down, the only, uh, in this camp, Lions, then, Men of Valor, DTA, certain other camp, the only ones teaching about the RFID chip, man, being the mark of the beast. Now, anybody that follows UPK, IUIC, all these other camps, Geo Sissies, whatever, uh, a lot of those um, members are going to leave. All right? That's bringing in what? The rest of the one-third. So, you know, so what? They're bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And that's why people like ICGJC, I, I they got taken down. That's why I don't like it when, when, when the feds run up on camps like that for tax evasion and all this shit. And then people are like, oh, they coming for us. Like, no, they going after them. We, we be, we be, we fucking rebuking them this all goddamn year. But then when the feds run up on them, we like, yeah, they coming for us. No, they going after them for the shit that they doing. When they come for us, they're going to come for us for standing for the truth. And that's it. They going after them for taxes, uh, uh, murder and fucking women, all kind of crazy shit. And nobody talking about it, but they talking about the, the, the true men of the Lord, man. All right, but it's vexing the Lord. It's vexing the real men of the Lord. You know, the Lord don't like that shit, man. And it says this. Um, even denying the Lord that bought them, man. They deny Yahweh Shai. They deny the truth. By denying the real men of the Lord, you deny Yahweh Shai. By denying Yahweh Shai and uh, claiming Yahana is the top man and all this bullshit, you're denying Yahweh Shai. You know? Um, IUIC, they, they, they call the Lord Jesus and Christ. And, you know, they deny Yahweh Shai. All right? Uh, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. That's why they showing up calling what we speak evil. They calling the way of truth evil to tell you that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. That's a warning saying don't take that damn chip at any cost. Don't take that chip into your hand. That's going to be the new money. Um, uh, the, the, the lunar calendar is how you tell the Sabbath. The new moon starts the new month. You, you're not supposed to do it with your damn woman in the butt. That's sodomy. You know, um, what else? They, whatever else, man. The Lord's name is not Jesus Christo. His name is Yahweh Shai. All right? You're not supposed to be wearing fucking uh, leather, patent leather and shit while you're out there teaching. <laughs> so it says this, man. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. And by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And they're pernicious. That, let's see what that is. All right? It says pernicious, meaning what? Uh, Pernikos and it says what death, destructive ways, ruin, ruinous ways, man. And the scriptures say that, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get that real quick. All right, this is May, uh, Matthew 7 and um, 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, right? You don't want nobody running up on your corner. Or wherever you're teaching that, uh, 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 you know, they probably do want that shit. But anyway, um, do want to, you know, for this is the law and the prophets. They saying they claim to be keeping the law, but they're not treating um, our brother that's out there teaching like brother. They out there running up on them, setting up shop. Yeah, say some. They're trying to fight them and shit. 13, enter ye in at the straight gate. All right, through your house shot, man. Through the afflictions, telling the truth. You know, um, 
For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, right? That's why I said many shall follow their pernicious ways. And pernicious means death or destruction. So they're destructive ways, man. That's destructive, man. That's toxic. And they were the same relationship. That's toxic, man, the way that dude was acting. Um, and Yohanna, uh, their whole camp. It says, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. All right. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are ravening wolves, man. You shall know them by their fruits. So you're going to know who Yohanna is by his fruits. The type of people he gathering, man. Carnal as uh, niggas. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? And they can't break down the scriptures. You know, they're lying, bearing false witness on the brothers, and they're not bringing out any scriptures to back up what they're saying. Um, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. All right, so at the root of it is wicked, man, Yohanna. And they bringing forth evil fruit, saying that John the Baptist is uh was wicked. You know, running up on people's corners now. He's sending them out. Like he's some type of mob boss and shit, putting them in danger. And they got families at home. It's probably, you know what I mean? It's crazy, man. <clears throat> so it says, and a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, man. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. <laughs> Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. All right. So the Lord going to give them their part in the fire, man. Destruction. The ISUPK is set up for missile food. You know, and a lot of people are going to be filtered out of that and join up under the apostles, man, into the truth. But their prophecy has got to come to pass first. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. That's what the Lord said. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. All right. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. All right. So and many shall say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? That's what you became. People like that going to say. I, you, I see. And in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works. Like even at the um, the churches, they claim to know the name of the Lord, but they don't. All right. And even those that do know the name of the Lord, they still got to deal righteously in this truth, man. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye, work, ye that work iniquity, man. All right. It says Matthew 7. I'm going to keep going. 24, therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and do them, I will liken him unto the wise man which built his house upon a rock, man. All right. Um, that rock would be who? Yahushai. Not upon Yohanna, the rock, the rock head. You know, just hard headed. And it says, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew. So that's all up to the destruction. The rain, all that represents the mark of the beast, everything, the sorrows that are coming upon this earth. And when they begin to happen, as they're doing now, uh, Yohanna saying his school is going to stick around. Man, listen, the Lord's shutting down America, man. What the hell is he talking about, yo? They gathering under Yohanna, not Yahweh Shah. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew. And beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. All right. Second Peter two, and two, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. So they're destructive. They're, they're following his destructive ways. They're following Nate's destructive ways. They're following um, uh, TD Fake's destructive ways. Creflo Dollar. You know, uh, vocab was destructive way. So the Lord got all these stumbling blocks set in place to draw those people away from the, the right the right path, man. All right, I always said the angel in the path to block you people from the finding it. Only the elect gonna find hear his voice. His sheep are gonna hear his voice and do it do it the right way until the end. 
um, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, doing it the right way. All right, so they speak evil of the truth, and through covetousness, shall so we, if we teach you and tell you that um, according to the our when, when our um, our laws were in place, we had laws, a whole system, just like Esau has his system, his laws. We had our laws, and within those laws, if somebody asks us, we have to tell them that if if a, if a rape situation happened, there were laws in place to to uh, deal with that. Are you to rape anybody today? No. The scriptures say obey the laws of the land, man. Do we want to rape anybody? No. Maybe some people do, but that's not happening. You get what I'm saying? So why even keep having that dis discussion? That's how you know those those camps have malice in their heart and they have an agenda. It's the same lies they were saying at, at Yahweh calling him a wine biller, calling him a devil. And they had no proof. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, who, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Man, it's right at the door. All right. 